Hello viewers, my name is Pat with Amazing Picture Studios, and once again we are on episode 3 of Space Engineers. Yeah. Yep. This is my buddy Dan, he's been here for 3 episodes, Hello. I think I'm going to keep him around. <laughs> yep. You guys are right. bugging out. Alright, anyway, back <laughs> to what I was doing. Yeah. We are going to be going through a fighter showcase of the Mark IV design before moving on to the Mark III over there because that's going to take significantly longer because there's multiple different designs <laughs> than just three. This thing yep. is just three different designs. Soon to be four because I'm making a new fighter. Uh, now I'll go over later once I create it. Anyway, this, yep. this first fighter here is the Mark IV Falcon. It's a fighter. It's the fighter class of the Mark IV series. Um, yep. The uh, the Thor engine, as I as we mentioned before in a previous video, is a, it is a it's the nickname design for our engine, and uh, it goes up higher than number the smaller the engine. This is the Mark IV, as in the smallest design we have. Um, it's still yep. relatively big. But small compared to the Mark yeah. III, and super small compared to the Mark Zero, well, the Mark One over there, and even smaller compared to the Mark Zero. So, we're going to be going yeah, the Mark, Mark I is Falcon. massive. Yep. The Mark One Mark Falcon IV. was the first thing I designed. You could uh. Mark IV Falcon. The Mark IV Falcon <laughs> was the first thing I designed. Yeah. Um, as you could tell, it's just a basic fighter. I based most of its design off of the. Uh, original test fighter um even down to the little little side things you have i pretty much based it off that design completely just gave my own spin to it added heavy armor and uh put my uh faction stripe on there to make it look nice this fighter is designed for as a fast interceptor it is just an interceptor fighter slash ground attack fighter it's pretty much multi-role you could change out the weapon loadout varying on uh, what you want, a specific ground attack or a specific uh, interceptor. Right now, this is an interceptor variant, uh, a ground attack variant or a ship attack variant, a bomber variant will just be all missiles on the sides. Well, one on the side, missiles up here with just machine guns on the sides for uh, self-defense. And the multi-roll... Pretty much adds on, uh, I don't know, it's just fighter and bomber. Right now we have the fighter variants out. Um, it's pretty much just real quick, climbs up in speed real fast. If you hop in, Dan, hop in the second one. We're going to do a quick formation run around the Orion. Where'd you go? Um, I had a random DC happen. I'm disconnected. Okay. Well, You're going to have to rejoin. I'm going to do a quick run to show you how fast this thing is. Once it gets going fast, it is very maneuverable. There's a freeze due to him joining. It's very maneuverable for a small yeah. fighter. I designed it that way. It's meant to uh, move in and attack real fast. Now, there will be future updates to this thing, seeing that it is uh, has some issues doing some turning at high speeds but there will be some updates to it sometime in the future um pretty much the falcon is my basic fighter design uh we could hold a lot of them in the orion so yeah the next thing i'm going to show yeah, you in the mark three series is these helicopter looking things i didn't really know what to make them for originally because oh the helicopter is still mark 4 yeah the remember mark they're IV. all mark 4s yeah they're still mark 4 <laughs> my bad i'm confused but it's a mark 4 talon gunship um this is mainly as an escort role uh say you drop troops off on the top of a ship or on the ground this thing was modified to turn fast at high rates of speed will turn really fast and still have a very slow, controllable speed to it. Since it's not that fast, hence the reason why I designated it only for escort purposes. As you can see, my speed is very slow, but it's side-to-side speed is essentially the same. 
and it has plenty of firepower on it to be a uh, just to support, you know, ground troops. I'm thinking about discontinuing it sometime in the future and replacing it with something a lot better and flies a lot smoother. But for now, this will do. Yeah. This is just our basic fighter designs. Um, this here is the Mark IV Herring Transport Class. You've seen this in plenty of other videos. It's fast, it's nimble, and in comfortable seating for three. I could probably upgrade it to make it seat four, or make it seat more than that by making it longer. But this is as big as I want it for now for the small transport class. Because uh, Dan has the transport class in the Mark IV seats like, what, 8, 9? 8. Yeah. That seats 8. Well, this thing's a real nice, fast thing. It's based solely off of the Mark IV Falcon. It is... Uh, no, it's seat 6. My bad. Seat 6. Yeah. But this right. thing is based completely off of the Falcon. Just built a little bit wider to accommodate the... Uh, the extra seating, and that's about it. The engine layout's pretty much the same. Two on top, two on the sides, two forward, five, uh, four small for forward thrust, and one big for forward thrust. It's really basic. These are mainly built small, so that way they can fit in the carrier without taking that, that much room. Unfortunately, the Mark III design is a little bit bigger. We'll show you the Mark III in our next video. Anyway, these are my three basic trans, three basic uh, fighters slash transport ships for the uh, yep. Orion class. I the Orion class carriers because I pretty much designed the carrier based solely off of these designs as ships. Now the funny thing, just a just a uh, funny thing for you. We didn't have a mining variant ship. I didn't copy and paste that into this world, but I'll show you in a future video. Maybe it will be aboard, say, some other video on boarding and attack techniques for attacking large ships and capturing them. It might be on that, just maybe. But it's a, a simple Herring-class transport with uh, two... I don't know what it's called... Mining drills? Yeah, two mining drills on the front. It is goofy as hell and wobbles a lot. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> I'm Patrick with Amazing Picture Studios. That's my buddy Dan. Yep. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.